What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another word. And um, today's video is, um, it's not gonna be one of my typical videos. Um, I recently just lost, uh, I recently just lost somebody that I used to date. And it, uh, this was like a few days ago, I just found out this news. So I've been kind of, um, I've just been seeking God and just, just in his presence. And it just has me really thinking about, it just has me thinking a lot about a lot that's been going on in this world and that there's a lot of people who have been passing away and there's a lot of people who have been losing people. And um, what God wants me to get up on here to talk about is, um, is that we are in the spiritual warfare, y'all. We are in the spiritual warfare and God is saying right now is to take this seriously. Okay, take this seriously. It is not a joke, y'all. Like, a lot of these influencers and a lot of the, um, the worldly music and uh, all these reality shows and all these big name people that have all this influence, but they're not, they're not, they're not using their influence to talk about the kingdom of heaven. They're not using their influence to spread the good news of Jesus. They're not using their influence to help heal people. They're not using their influence to to just to they're not using their influence to for good. Okay? And the reason why they're not using their influence for good because the spirit behind these people is not the spirit of God. It's the spirit of the enemy. Okay, and I used to be so caught up in this world too, y'all. So I don't want y'all to think I'm just getting up on here trying to act like I'm perfect. I'm not. But let me tell you something I do. Watch what I listen to. I do watch what I watch on TV. I don't even follow certain people, y'all. Y'all need to be careful who y'all follow. Y'all need to be careful who y'all call y'all friends. Because whatever they're influenced by, it's going to rub off on you. Okay? And... Although God is merciful and he is gracious, he will can be If you are not prayed up, y'all, if you do not know your authority in Jesus Christ, if you do not know who you are, the enemy is allowed to have access to you. Okay, and if you are not praying for your family and friends, if you are not using the power that God gave you when Jesus died, the enemy can have access to your family and your friends. Okay? He that is in you is greater than he that is in this world. It's just... So many people 
there's so much music talking about um just getting it just just out here getting it on your own and just being alone and how you don't need nobody and how you in love with the money and if it, if you ain't talking money then you ain't talking and just What does money have to do with your soul? Because you can't take none of that with you. It's a mansion already waiting in heaven for us. So why would we need to take all this crap with us? We don't. And we're not. We need to get saved, y'all. We need to confess that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Okay, we need protection out here, y'all. Just like, man. Hugs, God is taking me there, so we're going to go there. Just like Shanquela Sha Sha Robinson and just like Twitch. Okay, they're devs. We're completely different type of devs. But the outcome is from the same enemy, y'all. Okay. When it comes to Sean Quayla, y'all, we have to we have to keep God close. We have to keep God close so that when we do pray, He will answer us. Okay? So that when we do pray for discernment, He will give it to us. Okay, you need to pray for discernment so you can know. Okay, because God will never. Allow you to be deceived if you ask him to give you discernment. Okay? And another thing. You need to stay true to yourself. Stop hanging around people that is not your type of people. Okay, because I could just be speaking for myself, but I know if one of my so-called friends is a lowball hater, one of my so-called friends is talking about me, if one of my, I, I know, I can tell when me being myself is getting on somebody's nerves. Okay, because I'm not so caught up in this world. I don't really care if someone don't like me. I don't really care if I talk about God all the time and they don't want to hear it. I will remove myself. We need to keep God close in this hour, y'all. We need to keep God close in this hour, y'all. The spirit of jealousy, the spirit of envy, the spirit of pride is so relevant and so strongly right now in this hour that people will kill another human being. Because they're not happy with who they are. Let me stay prayed up, y'all. 
We need to stay prayed up. And then when it comes to Twitch, the enemy wants you to be alone. The enemy wants you to feel isolated, okay? The enemy wants you to feel like nobody understands you. The enemy wants you to feel like you can't talk to nobody. Okay, the enemy likes to get into your mind and bring up all the past traumas and bring up every single reason of why to not to believe in God, of to bring up every single reason of why, oh, look what happened there. God was never there for you. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Okay? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Then weapons may form, but they will not prosper. Just like with Job. God did not let the devil kill Job. He, he, he let the devil do what he did to make Job who Job was. Okay? And that's just how God, that's just how God works, man. There's a lot of people out here that just have no faith in God because all the bad stuff that happens in this world. If y'all read the Bible, y'all know who dominion this, who has dominion over this world. If y'all read the Bible, y'all know who this is. The world is the devil's playground. So if you're not covered in the blood of Jesus and you're caught up in the world, you're caught up in Satan. You are constantly dancing with the devil every single day that you are not in the Lord's presence. Every single day that you are not covered in the blood of Jesus, it just leaves more room for the enemy to have his way. Because when you're covered in the blood of Jesus... Yeah, the enemy, God will allow the enemy to, to do certain things for God's glory. Because God knows that whatever he allows the enemy to do is going to make you greater. Okay? But if you're not covered in the blood, okay, if you are not taking God's grace and mercy seriously... And if you do not know your authority and power in Jesus Christ, the enemy is allowed. The enemy is allowed to have access to you. Okay, this is serious. Obedience is very serious in this hour as well. Obedience, and everybody's obedience is different. My obedience is different from your obedience. God can have me, God can have me do something that, that he will not have you doing. Everybody's obedience is different.
the friend I lost y'all. This person did not want to hear about God. And thank you, Jesus, that they were saved, that they did give their life to Jesus at a younger age, that they did, you know, grow up in church. But they got caught up in this world and they lost sight of who they were. They forgot who they were in Christ. And I just know now that they are in heaven and in a better place. Everybody that we have lost, anybody that we have lost that have gave their life to Jesus and accepted them as uh, and accepting him as their Lord and Savior is in heaven. You know what I mean? Some people, God already knows because he sees our ending. He knows the time of our death. He knows exactly when and where and why we leave this this earth and go home to be with our Father, to go home to be with our other loved ones. He knows. Okay? And I don't even feel comfortable talking about this, but I'm being obedient to what God has has me doing. And I just hope that this can be a reminder and an encouragement to keep God close. Okay, we need to take this seriously. We need to take this seriously, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but since COVID happened, there has been a rise in spiritual awakenings, okay? There has been a rise in born-again Christians, okay? There has been a rise in, in spiritual gifts. There has been a rise in prophetic voices. The Bible says in the end times, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. I don't know, it says the young men will dream dreams, the old men will dream visions, one of those, I forgot, but. We are, we are in war, y'all. We are in a spiritual warfare right now, man. Jesus Jesus has the victory. Okay. Jesus has the ultimate victory, but there are some little battles, some minor battles cuz they're minor. When you know who you are through Christ, they're minor. No weapon formed to get you shall prosper. Okay. The Bible says we have the authority to trap on the heads of scorpions and snakes and anything else from the kingdom of hell. We have the authority. And it's time that we use that authority, y'all. It's time we take back our power. It's time we know who we are, okay? It's time to put on our breastplate of righteousness, okay? It's time to put on our helmet of salvation, okay? It's time to take up our... Our sword, which is the word of God. It's time, y'all.
It's time to wake up. It's time to get up. Get up. Get up, Lazarus. It's time to get up. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon.